Hi, and welcome to We're Building a Benchmark App. Hey, my name is Eric, and as the title says, I'm, we are building a benchmark app. I want you to be part of this. Um, one thing that I have always been missing is a way to measure the benchmark, uh, the measure, you know, measure the benchmark, you measure the performance with a benchmark, um, measure the performance of Business Central in, in an easy, non-technical way, something that will give you a indication whether the performance is good or bad or in between, and maybe a, you'll be able to compare it to others. Uh, and um, I, I really, you know, when shopping for a new phone or a graphics card or anything like that, I find myself, you know, comparing the scores of 3D Mark or Geekbench or stuff like that. Uh, and, and I want this to be the same way. Um, so let me show you what I have so far. Um, because this is at this point actually more than just talk. Um, so here is my Business Central. This is running on my Surface Book sitting down here. Um, in a Docker instance, and if I do BC Benchmark, I like the name, uh, BC Benchmark, I get a single page, and we can actually see the last time I ran this, I got a score of 39. Right now, the numbers are meaningless. So I can ask it to run the benchmark. Benchmark is running. Uh, I can close this and go and create a sales quote, um, or stop creating a sales quote and then go into the, the benchmark again and check on our progress. It's still running. And at some point, the benchmark has finished, um, hopefully soon. Uh, but as you can see, the benchmark is, is actually getting launched as a separate session in the background. So it's just running. So, so you can start it, set it over and run. And this time I got a score 51. Again, numbers in, at present are meaningless because I'm, I'm just trying to get a score, not get a, a, a correct score. So let's take a look at the code for this so far. Uh, here is my, and I actually, let me, you see, I was working on this right until I started the video. So so let's let's take a look at this. Um, there's a single page called uh, benchmark and as you can see when you click run, just doing session dot start session. Um, we did a video on the page background task. So session dot start session is a way to launch a code unit in a background session. So a normal session just running in the background, uh, and this is what we do. And what are we launching? Well, we're launching the benchmark runner, and let's take a look at that. Benchmark runner, and, and you can see that this one has two interesting properties, because in reality, Business Central have a great system for, for running tests, not for the purpose of benchmarking, for, for, but for the purpose of running code tests, automated tests, and um, the great thing about the, this is that you will isolate what happens in the test. Uh, so after you're done, nothing is written to the database, even though you're writing stuff to the database. Uh, and, and we're just using this in this app uh, to run a benchmark instead of just running tests, but it's the same system that we're using. So the owner, is the test runner, and then we have individual tests. And you can see here the, the source code for, for this one is pretty simple. Uh, we have currently, I have three benchmark tests going. That's a capital order, that should be there. Um, a sales, a purchase, and one called loops. And before and after that, we have the scorekeeper. So an interesting challenge came when you know we're running this in the background so there's no ui there's no bc doesn't really have any good inter-thread communication of him. 
doesn't have any inter-trade communication uh, functionality uh, in reality. Uh, and since we're running in the test code unit, we cannot write anything to the database because it's just going to get enrolled back when the test is done. Uh, so the solution I came up with, and again, this is going to be open source. This is you can participate. So if you have a better solution, I would love a, a, a discussion, a, an example of that. But this is the so the scorekeeper is a is a single instant code unit. So this one keeps a in this case I just keep everything in in a JSON object, keeps that in memory throughout the, uh, the test because memory does not get rolled back, and then. At the end of the test, all the accumulated information from the code units are in the in the done function are written into um, uh, into the isolated storage area. Um, so so that that's the test runner. So whatever tests we have, we run them. We start the scorekeeping. We run the test, we, we end the scorekeeping. So, so let's take a look at a single test and see what happens in there. In this case, this is sales. And I really enjoy that, you know, you get a higher score, the better. The gamification, right? Uh, so if my graphics card scores 5,000 and yours is only a 2,000, then my graphics card is way better than you. And I want the same thing about testing Business Central. So if I have a 10,000 point Business Central, it's way better than your puny 2,000 points system. Uh, and so, so turning benchmark into, uh, turning running code and turning it into a number that gets higher, the better it is. The easiest way of doing that is simply doing as many operations as you can within a, an allotted time. Uh, so in this case, we're running, you can see we have a loop uh, and um, we're running a single test. And in in this case, in, within 10 seconds, I don't want to wait. And we, we just count how many tests can we run within, a, within that allotted time. And the test is very simple. Uh, it finds a unblocked customer, an unblocked item, creates a sales order to the customer where we're selling uh, some of the unblocked item and then we're shipping and posting that. So how many sales orders can we create and post within the allotted time? Uh, the purpose to purchase test is the exact same thing, just running on purchase variables instead and adding the vendor invoice number instead. Uh, otherwise, the exact same test. Uh, the last one is called loops. And um, right now, this is mostly a placeholder. We, we want to do some, some CPU intensive operations. We want to do something that has nothing to do with database, has nothing to do with other subsystem. I want to just do a test of the CPU, see how much is the single thread performance here, because that can be very important in, in some operations within Business Central. Um, and right now it's just looped. We need to make sure that what we're doing is not getting optimized by the compiler because those compiler guys are sneaky bastards. Um, so if, if the compiler figures out that this thing is not doing anything anyway, we might as well not doing it. Uh, because then it will run faster. Uh, so we need to make sure that we do something that's actually meaningful um, in some way. And and this is where the we really comes in because we need a lot of other tests. We want to test what you consider important for performance. We want to want to test reports, we want to test uh, XML ports or streams and lots of things. Uh, and I want you to, to participate. I want I want this to be a community uh, effort. I, I want us to say, okay, we're actually testing the system, not the way Microsoft intends it to be tested, but something that makes sense from how we know our users are using it. Um, and there is a template uh, 
test here that is basically all the boilerplate code that's needed and just you need to actually create a test here everything else is taken care of um, and when we have a palette of tests what we need to do then we need to weigh them to each other so we we the combined score is meaningful and maybe you know maybe the 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 sales test is very important so each post the invoice should count of three maybe this one should run uh for you know for a minute or maybe run for two minutes uh and then make it thereby get a a higher score all that is is when when we know the final set of tests that's what we need to come up with a, a way so so it's it's meaningful then the next thing and this is actually one of the uh, the, the the fun thing that the next thing that happens is that then then when you have a score i get score 51 is that good or bad well I want there to be a, you know, you can click on a compare function. So compare my result to the other results, some, somebody else's. So you can perhaps you can see, okay, my system is faster than the cloud or my system is slower than the cloud or my cloud is at the same speed. And that's the people who are on the same data center as me, but those guys on the west data center where i'm on the east data center the, 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 their system is faster or uh, maybe all of us who has a certain app installed is way slower than everybody else's uh some stuff like that so i think the app should, needs a, a way to submit your score through web service and then you know, from the web service, pull uh, comparable results from other anonymized and, and all that. But so you submit your score, you you give some meaningful metadata, cloud, on-prem, server type, data center, uh, database size, uh, interesting numbers that, that can help, interesting metadata that can help the comparison makes sense um that is and and i'm, I'm gonna slowly work on that uh, on, on the next part um but this app should end up in app source and and i'm also working on that uh so if you saw the let's do the test run you see that i have pre not pre i have post fixed all my name at hdd because if it's uh, when I'm submitting to and to app source there, that's my postfix. Um, and, and that's needed for something to app source to be, uh, be validated and, and actually go on app source. But I need your help. And, and, and I think that's the, uh, that's the important part of this. Uh, it takes a village, uh, and, and I want the benchmark to really cover what you care about. Um, I want each test, um, and, and this is important. So right now, you see this test is simple. We find a customer that is not blocked. We find an item that is not blocked. That certainly raises the level of, this is probably gonna post. Um, but it may not post because you in your data uh, is running, when, whenever you create a, a sales order manually, your salespeople need to go in and add a dimension before it will post. But all tests should post on Kronos data from any localization uh, of BC. Uh, that, 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 that's the, the minimum demand. So, so all tests should run on any localization of BC uh, in the Chromos company. Then we need to figure out if, if we want to make it possible to run the tests on, on data and perhaps, you know, perhaps we need some events here so people can actually extend the test app to, uh, to, to use the data they, they want instead. Uh, or maybe we we go in and we create a 
dimension, or sorry, a creator customer, but then we can still run into that your sales account requires a certain dimension and, and that could break it. But yeah, let me know in the comments below how you think about that. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna continue working on this. So the code is available in a. This is not part of the the usual YouTube repository. This is part of a, a dedicated repository for this. The code is licensed under a MIT license, so you can, you can take it and run with it. Uh, uh, I'm 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 gonna uh, submit the the end result to App Source. Uh, hopefully, if it's good. If it's not good, then hey. It goes like a lot of all of my projects uh, in the waste bin until they go into the museum. Um, but I'm, I'm convinced this is going to be great. Uh, but again, the, the, the code is, is MIT uh, and uh, we can see if you can use it anywhere else. Uh, that, would, that would be fun. Uh, I, I got a suggestion. Uh, on Twitter uh, the other day from Luke and say, but Maybe it should run in my 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 build pipeline, which is an interesting idea that you you run your benchmark as part of your your pipeline, so you can see uh, you know, you you can see your regressions that usually get a certain score, but then you check something in, and now your app is way slower. Be pretty cool, also. Uh, so that's that's actually a neat idea. Anyway, I have talked a lot and. Um, Take a look at the code. Let me know in the comments below if you want to uh, participate. I think the actual participation is going to be done on GitHub in the issues in the uh, in 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 the GitHub interface uh, pull requests. If you if if you are new to the whole idea about pull requests, uh, I can receive code in in any uh, any format. We'll figure that out. One thing that I also want to add to this app uh, i should have mentioned that before I'm, I'm doing it now is that you know click on the logo or click on the a about or something like that and and then i want to i want a page that showcases all the people who are participating in this uh it it has to be a community effort. Uh, it's also that is also a validation of of okay. I got a BC benchmark score of two thousand. Okay, we trust that because we know that we know the people who built it. It's just not Eric and his crazy hacking going on down here in the basement. It's it's the community. So maybe you want to be the one who's building that that cool page uh, of who's participating. Um, Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Uh, check out the code. Uh, see you on GitHub. And uh, I will, as soon as there's progress, I will post another video on how it's going and what's happening. And uh, until next time, have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you in the benchmark code. Cheers.